Hey, 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 yeah, you. Do you want acid? No? How about, uh, how about mushrooms? Do you want mushrooms? No? Mmm, how about guns? Can I, uh, no? But I got this place I know where you can get them all. No, not interested? What? Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave you be then. Hmm. Hello everyone, welcome to 7 days to die. We are now at alpha 19.2 stable build. So on my previous videos covering the lucky looter perk, we saw that it is actually possible for a character with a game stage of 1 to 11, meaning he or she is at tech 0, to get tech 1 loot, especially if you have the right buffs related to uh, looting you know, active in your character. I will put the links in the description below of these videos for your reference. Anyways, at one point during the tests, I did notice that although I did get a hunting knife, wrench, and even a hunting rifle, I still didn't get a pistol on any of those characters. And I really wanted to prove that that is one item that we can get at the beginning game stages. So. We've read all those posts about where some players got their first pistols, right? And yep, it's in the toilet bowls of all places. Toilet bowls. <laughs> so, it got me thinking, which place or places have lots of those toilet bowls while also relatively easy for a beginning character to loot? So, it took me a while to sift through all the available POIs, but I finally found the best candidate. And as an added bonus, that place actually contained some other loot that I thought were rare, or at least the last time I played, they were rare. And those were, those are bottles of acids, and even the mushroom spore seed, as well as some food recipes. Alright, and let me show you what those places are so this is the bigger version of that place it's called days and sweets and yep it's a motel and here is the small version of that motel it's called motel 8 okay now let's get on to the details of how I tested this so for the testing method what I did is I actually created four save games for this one is a character, this one actually, with no points in Lucky Looter and with no goggles equipped and no candy buff, so basically nothing. The other save game is one with two points in Lucky Looter only and nothing else. The other one, the third one is character with two points in Lucky Looter and a Lucky Goggles equipped. And last but not the least is the character with everything on her so two points in lucky looter lucky goggles and the candy buff okay and similar to what we did last time i created a centralized loot storage so that we can put everything there for each save game and then we'll open it one by one so that we can compare the loot for each of the saved games or the uh, for each of the character. Okay, without further ado, drum rolls please. Here are the loots. So first thing is for this character with zero points in Lucky Looter and nothing else on her. Game stage is at two. And keep in mind, that since this is a zero point lucky looter and no buffs i had to do a lot more looting on this character compared to the other ones in fact i had to loot two large motels and one small motel to get the loot that i was satisfied with and what that is or what those are is actually i wanted to find a pistol for a, a tech zero character with nothing on her. 
and they actually found one okay and yeah there you go so it's actually true <laughs> i guess that's what i mean so you can actually get tech one items on a level one character or a tech zero character and we have the nineteen knife we have the pistol we actually got a bacon and eggs recipe in that in those motels we actually even got a cigar we got these we have a bunch of wrenches and well this is also a nice touch if you didn't find the goggles yet you can definitely use these and we also have a few blunderbuss and hey there's a mushroom spore the reason why i'm a bit excited about this is because the early the earlier you can plant these the better and whoa 16 bottles of acid so and this actually is not you know not too bad too nine sewing kits so you can immediately craft oh no wait 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 you can immediately craft these ones i'm not sure if you need a uh, workbench for this i don't think so it doesn't say yeah i don't think this need this needs a uh, what's that a uh, workbench but you should be able to uh, get the other components or ingredients for this recipe um, and then you can put them in your clothing and yep along with the other pocket mods you'll be able to manage your inventory especially its effects on your stamina better right what else yeah i already mentioned the uh, the wrenches okay so that's one of the bigger surprise for me here now let's go on to the next save game all right so here's the character with two points in lucky looter only and nothing else so let's see what she got by looting just one small motel and that's the one actually okay so we can see that she got a pistol she got two wrenches three bottles of acid and some other nifty stuff she didn't get a uh, mushroom seed nor any food recipes but i'll still take this loot um, especially this one it's pretty good four of these the wrench and the pistol of course all right and now this one with two points in lucky looter and a lucky goggles but with no candy buff all right so let's see what she got all right so for this one i actually only had to loot one small motel just one and we already got the hunting knife a pistol we didn't get a mushroom seed but that's fine um and we got a pumpkin seed recipe and two wrenches and four bottles of acid which for me is already pretty good for just one looting one small motel and there's a wolf right there <laughs> okay now and last but certainly not the least here's the character with everything on her two points in lucky looter a lucky goggles and an eye candy all right so what did she get for this character i only looted one small motel as well and we got a pistol we got a mushroom spore seed we got a couple of food recipes which is pretty nifty we did get some books as well and we got three wrenches and six bottles of acid right with on, on loot with looting on just one small motel based from what we've seen you definitely can go by without even having a point in lucky looter and you'd be able to get these nifty items right although you'll you'll just have to loot uh, a lot more of those places the uh, motels and the thing about these motels is that uh 
I think they're relatively easy to loot, even at level 1 without, you know, high-end weapons or without even a blunderbuss, I think. Hmm. So that's pretty much all I have to share in this video. Although I did, I kept mentioning about the Lucky Looter perk. And when we did the tests, we actually did it on multiple saves with different buffs related to the Lucky Looter perk. But I think we were able to cover the main point of this video. And we were able to showcase this particular place here where we can get all those nifty loot that we thought we were not supposed to get or for some items like the bottles of acid, the food recipes, or mushrooms and other seeds we thought were very hard to get, alright? And we even proved it by using a character with zero points in Lucky Looter and nothing else, right? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, please don't forget to hit that like button and hey, hey hey! There's a gaming channel, so if that's the content you like watching, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. As always, stay safe and thanks for watching. This is Kenra, signing off.